Everyone knows that backup is essential. In case something bad happens, you are able to recover your system quickly. Quite often, you probably write some custom scripts. These are probably shell scripts, Python scripts, maybe Ansible playbooks. Even though we protect focuses on the virtual machine backup, we actually are able to extend your backup infrastructure with your custom scripts. So you are able to protect your databases, hypervisor configuration, maybe just set of files that you have on some share in your infrastructure. So in order to do that, we are able to define an application, okay? So it's an abstract entity. Application technically is an entity that you are able to access, grab some files, which later you are able to store somewhere. Technically, in vProtect, you have two main things that you need to think of. First, how do you grab your files? Maybe you are just using simple command, database backup command, maybe you are just exporting set of files. This is called command execution configuration. You need to say how do you would like to invoke specific command and where. It can be either invoked remotely or on vProtect node. Now, you just are able to put your custom scripts in here and pass custom variables, custom environmental variables or custom parameters to your script and later you just need to point which files or set of files we need to grab and store in some backup provider. Once you have your command execution configuration, maybe it is just a script, maybe it's a plain command, you need to define applications. So application, it, you just need to give a name, point to which node actually needs to do the work, and provide maybe some credentials. vProtect is able to access remotely your virtual machine or operating system. It doesn't really have to be a virtual machine. It can either access remotely via SSH, or you can just invoke this command directly on the node. vProtect 3.7 Update 1 introduces environmental variables support. This allows you to pass certain environmental variables to your scripts for each application separately. Now, with the single command execution configuration, you can pass environmental variables such as database name, maybe some additional credentials required to execute your script. It is worth to mention that Update 1 has also introduced Chinese language support and Nutanix snapshot management. If you would like to see current release of vProtect in action, we have prepared several movies that will show you how to use application backup, especially around Oracle VM, Red Hat virtualization, OVIRT, Citrix backup, and this time we are talking about hypervisor platform backup, so configuration files and databases that are used behind the scenes to store your configuration of the virtual platform. Another set of movies are around database backup, and we have prepared examples with Oracle Database and MySQL. Last but not least, there, there will be additional movie describing how to use Ansible playbooks with vProtect. If movies are not enough and you would like to try it yourself, you can visit vProtect.io, download and install vProtect for free. So, see you next time and stay tuned!